This is JC with Scorpio Tarot. Thank you for joining me again this week. This is going to be a reading for the air sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind that everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. As always, the rules could be reversed, so flip it as you may see fit. Um, these readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to see and hear them, that is when you're meant to see and hear them. I've gone ahead and pulled the cards for you to save time. Because nobody wants to watch me five to, you know, shuffle five to ten minutes and get these cards ready for the, to be laid out. So that being said, let's get to your reading. So a couple of announcements I wanted to make is thank you, everybody who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, we hit our October goal of hitting 50 subscribe members. So the next goal is to hit the 100 mark. So that's the next goal. So I encourage you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, um, share the share the video. It gets my it, to get to, so we can reach our goal. Um, so let's get to your reading. So the energy that I'm getting for both of you is the six of cups. Now the six of cups, uh, since you came to this reading for a particular person, your your SP, your specific person, is this is an ex of yours. This is someone from that you know from your past. You, you, both of you are reliving those happy memories that you had with one another. You know, it's it's with its cups, so it means love. So, you know, and the youthful the children usually means the past and when things were great and awesome and wonderful. And you, you're just reliving those happy moments. You're looking at those, looking at the, maybe old pictures of them. They're looking at old pictures of you. And they're kind of getting to that, you know, reminiscing place. You're probably going to places where you and to, you both used to frequent, you know, and kind of getting the flooded with those memories. So I kind of feel that both of you are getting flooded with a lot of memories of your past. It's clarified by the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is kind of telling me it's a it's a it's a small spark of fire. It's it's ambitious. It's something that you would want to happen with you. You know, it's about the possibilities and adventures that you could have with this person in love. It's a, you're, you're more livelier to the relationship more, you know, it's a, it's a romance that is, it's, it might be fleeting at the moment, uh, you know, it was, but it was fleeting in the wall, but it's going to rekindle. It's re going to ignite again. Um, this time around, you're going to try new things. It's going to be open, more communicative. This is the passion that you have. It's a renewed passion. You know what they say with the, the heart grows fonder when you're apart and you've had that time apart. You've had that time to think on your own and, this is a new passion. It's a small, immature passion. You know, it's not a king or a queen or, you know, but it's a passion nonetheless. It's a, it's a rekindled passion. So, again, passion ignited by all these past memories. So, the energy that you guys have, Aquarius, is the Nine of, nine of Wands. Now... I kind of feel that you feel this toward your energy towards the relationship that it's going to require a lot of work. You know, it didn't ha it didn't work for a particular reason. It love isn't easy, you know, and but there is a lot of self improvement that you've done during your time apart. You've you've learned to grow as a person. You might have gone and hit the gym a little bit more. You know, read read a couple more books, acquire more skills. You know, you've improved yourself. You've made the sacrifice. You know, and you're really, really willing to put a work into it. Maybe I kind of feel that this relationship was kind of teetering in the past. Uh, something small might have blown it up to something big. And I kind of feel that you're, you're, you know, you're learning to kind of roll with the punches, kind of learning how to take things in, kind of let things come to you the way that they're supposed to come to you. It's clarified by the moon. So the moon is just telling me that all these complexities, all the complexities that you have with love, you know, things were things that you, you know, it's it's compl it's a complicated romance. You know, there's an uncertainty to it because the you know the this is the confusion card because you're kind of letting the thoughts come into into your you know you know bad thoughts, negative thoughts. Uh, it affects your ability to accept love, and. You know, sometimes your old, you know, your old beliefs, you know, from past relationships kind of cloud your judgment. You kind of think that, you know, you, you start to ask yourself, is this relationship worth it? Is it, is it, are, are you unworthy of love? This is, you know, your beliefs are being questioned here when you, when the moon card comes out in this position, 
You know, you're questioning everything about this relationship. Is this person for you? Why did it not work in the past? Are you able to get love? Are you able to receive love? Are you able to accept it? You know, have you lost faith in it? Uh, these are all the questions that are kind of work. You know, you're trying to work out. You're trying, you, you know, this is sacrifices you're making. You're trying to work that out and make it, you know, make it where your thought process is a lot better. You know, these are, you know, you're trying not to overthink it too much. And that's why you're working hard towards that. So you are working hard to this relationship. It's going to be a lot of hard work because, you know, some of us, you know, including myself, we tend to overthink a lot of, a lot of times. So it kind of, it kind of puts us out of that, that energy of being in love with somebody and be able to accept love. <clears throat> And your person, on the other hand, they're in the magician. They're trying to manifest you back into the, their lives. You know, they're probably with this all these memories that you probably have a lot of thoughts coming towards you toward uh, about them in your in your thoughts. Uh, maybe they're showing up in your dreams. They're manifesting, you know, opportunities so that you can think about them. You know, they think about you a lot, and that's why they're you know they're manifesting opportunities. It's a manifest and a manifestation of opportunities when it comes to love. You know, it's clarified by the, again, the Six of Cups. They're in their memories. You know, they're in their past. They're in their feels. They're in, they're reliving all those moments that they have with you. So, you know, with them being so intensely and manifesting it with the Magician card, I, I can only see it, you know, you being flooded with all these past emotions, past memories. And it's also, you know, it's a little confusing because you two are broken up for a particular reason. But there's so much good and so much, you know great things that happen between the two of you that you're willing to work for, you know, no one's a sacrifice, stop the overthinking, and they're trying to manifest you back in, you know. So that's all I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me again this week. Uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, leave a comment if this resonated with you in any way. Uh, you know, check back with other, your other sign placements if none of this resonated with you at all. So, you know, check your other sign placements. You know, just leave a leave a comment in the in the comment section below. You know how this how's this affect you? The reading, how it affects you, or for how it affected you. Um, we are in Scorpio season, so you know that's another. It's the it's the season of transformation. So, uh, thanks again for joining me. And yeah, have a great week.